Today, we are making holes in the boat. Do not make any holes below the waterline. Um, I'm not planning to do that, but I am planning on installing some deck fittings. There's three fittings that I need to install. Some clutches, a new deck organizer, this little spin lock PXR Dubri. And why am I doing this? Because I'm installing a new main sheet. So I am moving the main sheet, which means I'm also putting in a new track. Watch and learn, because <laughs> I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> wrote down basically an eight part process for this. Step one is to remove these panels. That's step one. Now we do step two. There was already um, space here, nice hole, uh, already for me to fit the organizers on both sides. So that was already there from the organizer this side, but there was nothing this end. So I have just bored a little hole here with my little hole borer and to make a little hole, and that went okay. Obviously this is now stuck in here. A fun tip um, to retrieve that is to get another drill, or take it off, use the same drill, and to basically drill in. Smaller drill bit is better, and then when you've drilled through it, you've then got something to grab onto it with. And then you can just pull it right off, like that. Watch out for these glass fibers. They're nasty, I'm gonna get some gloves. So you might be wondering, what the hell am I doing this all for? Well, the answer is I want to move the main sheet. And you're like, what, why are you moving the main sheet? And the thing is, on this boat, the main sheet connects in the cockpit right in front of the helm. And it's just so annoying, it gets in the way if there are crew people on. I tend to go cruising, I'm not a racer. I want people to be comfortable and happy. And if you've got a main sheet going straight across you because you didn't move in time, because you didn't know what was going on, that's annoying. Um, or equally, even when you've, you know, you've got uh, the wind behind you and it's, it's, it's not tight, but it's, it's like it's draggling all the way across uh, part of the seating area in the cockpit. It's like, it's a distraction at best and it's, it's dangerous uh, at worst, right? It can, you know, if it becomes uh, suddenly just goes, uh, which, it, which it can do, then that's not great. So I wanted to move it. There are so many benefits uh, to moving it where I wanted to move it. So I want to move it just behind me in front into the companionway area. And the benefits of that, huge benefits. Number one, it gets it out of the way. It's not in the cockpit area. Um, number two, um, it means that I can actually make better adjustments because I'm putting it on a track, whereas there's just a ring. Uh, which exists on the cockpit floor, so that's that's great. I can make better adjustments. Number three, when I move the boom to be out of the way, I will actually be able to just uh, move it on a car rather than having to disconnect it from the ring, let it swing a bit, it's a bit dangerous potentially, and then connect it onto um, the uh, push pin, the push pin, the bit at the back. Um, so yeah, it's just, that's, that's a pain. Um, so that, that's, that's a big advantage, just the convenience and the, the comfort um, for having it like totally, totally out of the way. Um, and I know there are disadvantages as well. So disadvantages in theory, actually it's going to make it um, less accessible if you're on the helm and you want to make adjustments, you want to trim. So somebody told me the reason it's there on this boat is this boat can be a little bit tippy, um, a bit tender. So it's much safer to have it by the helm. Well, actually, a lot of the time if I'm sailing on my own, I'm not by the helm because I put the autopilot on. Um, and if it's not me helming, it's somebody else. And they don't necessarily know or have the ready knowledge to be able to use the main sheet. So actually having the main sheet where all of the other sheets and controls and everything are really does make sense. So bringing it to the cockpit um, is, is really important. So this is, this is where it is now. And it just connects here, this ring. That's the main sheet there. I know you need to spread the load. <laughs> I do know that. So um, I'm not gonna bring the ring all the way back, only about halfway back. And then I'm gonna use a series of blocks 
in order to spread the load along the mar uh, along the boom uh, down to the foot of the mast and then back to the cockpit. So that's quite important. Um, that's common on other boats. Uh, and this has been done on other Sun Odyssey 29.2s. It's going to go here. This is the new track. I've reinforced this with some wood, some teak, which I've wood stained to try and be the same. And this is the car. Nice, smooth movement. And uh, there's some end stops to go here. Spray hood normally live here. So, um, so yeah, I think that's going to be a much better place. And that's what all this is about. That's what installing uh, the new deck organizer, which is needed, a new set of clutches, which is needed, and the uh, spin lock PXR, which will create an easy, ready mechanism to release the load under tension because main sheet can get under a lot of tension, right? So that's what all of those components are for. They've all got really high braking loads individually, um, but of course those loads are gonna be spread anyway because of the blocks. So fingers crossed. I know there's a risk involved in this. There's risk, but sometimes you've gotta take that if you wanna improve your overall sailing experience. So hopefully it's balanced and measured risk, um, but Time will tell, and putting holes in the boat is scary enough, right? But if you have an accident out there on the sea with your main sheet, that's even worse. So, yeah, I'm taking a measured approach, and uh, I'll be testing it thoroughly, trust me. Okay, so I've measured about 200 times, been very indecisive, and I've got this track now where I want. I've made a mark, um, and I am ready to do my first hull in my boat. My pants nearly got dirty because uh, with the first hull, it's been really tough. I bored the hull out here. Um, I had no idea uh, where the hull the other side was gonna come when I drilled through. Uh, I'm actually this close. Uh, I finally, I finally got it. The, uh, I put a screwdriver through it actually, because uh, the hole was big enough. Popped a small screwdriver through and I can finally see the screwdriver now. So I know I need to bore a little bit more of a hole, um, just, just a little bit to the left. I haven't done the starboard side yet, so uh, I can know exactly where I need to bore that hole now. So, whew. oh man, if this weren't stressful enough, um, I've just gone to make the second hole and this is what has happened to my drill bit. Um, the rest of it is in the deck. There is nothing at the top and there is nothing at the bottom. It is somewhere in between. Thankfully in the sailing community there's always someone willing to give a hand. Disaster averted. There you go. Okay. Thanks Rob. That's Okay, so it's the second day of trying to execute this project. Had to give up yesterday because uh, did not have the correct bolts, that was a problem. Uh, now, getting hold of the correct bolts has been a bit of a challenge today. Um, the local chandlery was closed, uh, the one slightly further away um, didn't have any bolts at all. They're like, no, we just, we just don't have bolts, haven't, haven't had stock of bolts. So I was like, ah, oh, um, circumstances have actually taken me to Essex today for different reasons. Um, and I ended up in this place called uh, the, the Dauntless, Dauntless Yacht Services in Benfleet. And they have everything. Like they're really great at social distancing. They make you wear gloves. Uh, they keep you away from other customers. They were really superb. And they had all of the bolts. So I have many, many choices now of bolts. So. Today's job is to, to put the bolts in. I'm gonna put them in with some sealant. As I said, there's um, there's no core there. It's only fiberglass and gel coat. So I'm just gonna use sealant. I'm gonna do them uh, hand sort of finger tight um, because I've heard that the best thing to do is to let the sealant really dry. It creates like a really nice gasket and then you can just like tighten them up um, properly. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow and then I'm gonna spray the deck and check that there's no leaks before I put all of the panelling uh, back on. So here we go. I made these little gaskets which will go on the feet of the clutches and 
little ones as well for the deck organizer. Holes oh. have come out okay actually, they haven't, some slight chipping, I don't know if you see that but it's not cracked. So that's okay, this one is still okay. I don't know if this is correct or not but I'm like putting on these little rubber neoprene feet first because uh, I think that will be easier having experienced it with the PXR. I'm just doing a dry fit right now to make sure that the the bolts are okay. Here's the uh, little deck organizer. So I guess it's something a smart person would want to check uh, is that your washers, this is me, <laughs> your washers, the washers are actually fit alongside each other. And uh, no, no, they don't. <laughs> so as with yesterday where um, Rob came and helped me with his drill bit, I uh, called upon my boat neighbor uh, regarding the washer situation. And uh, he's been able to find me um, some small uh, washes which is perfect so that's massive help so thank you Mike for that tiny washes Big washes so Jess has got some water and we're actually going to test these fittings now so we tightened everything up just help with that and now we're going to test so let's try um firstly jess this side these ones here just pour where this basically where the screws are oh, okay. there so just down there and just pour just yeah just sort of over it a little bit of water just have a look here so these were, these are original and there's no, nothing really done. We just tighten them up a bit, but there's nothing coming through, which is positive. And, and the little thing that's next to it. You did that as well? Yeah. Okay, that's really good. All right, now the ones that I did here. So this thing here, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't want to see any water gushing through here. These are all tight double washers. This is the one I'm really worried about, this screw here. Right? Yeah, and I want you to do, hang on a minute, all, all around that whole area, like underneath, not, not, Sorry, I mean like this area here, well, in it there. It on that panel. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Just be aware of the sun, the hatch is open. So, what have we got? There's the tissue. Doing the tissue test, tissue's dry. This is, this is too good to be true. Okay, so we have all of the various components now installed. The lovely Lumar uh, size one track and pin stop car, that's all set. Reinforced with a piece of teak because you've got to reinforce it at least every 10 centimeters. So a bit of teak in between. We have spin lock clutches, new clutches. So that'll do the main sheet and the uh, boom brake and also a deck organizer in between, which will also do the boom brake and the main sheet. And then for um, better control when the main sheet is under any kind of real tension, the uh, PXR, the Spinlock PXR, is really great for releasing the main sheet. So all of those components 
are set and in terms of how I kind of came up with this setup I looked at a lot of boats that was a uh, Sun Odyssey 35 um, so it's pretty standard on kind of Genos uh, that one has a track a lot of a lot of them actually don't have a track they just connect port and starboard um, and that's that's quite common on Elands and Benetos um, as well in modern Elands and Benetos and Bavaria's all sort of follow that style for cruising yachts uh, so yeah but I think a track is better you can make better adjustments and that that's kind of why I went for that and also when you want the boom out of the way the idea of just lifting the car and moving it out of the way kind of really appeals so this is the main sheet so we have a fiddle here spliced on it's going to the block after that just came back and then we're coming to here a little block here on a soft shackle and then we're coming to a block attached to the mast then we're going to the new deck organizer running in parallel with the line for the boom brake to control it we've got a new clutch that's quite good for releasing also does the boom brake so all of the boom controls are here hope you enjoyed this video please do not take this as an expert guide i really welcome your comments on what you might have done differently tap here to check out how i get on sailing with the new main sheet and don't forget to subscribe Thank you.